All right, guys. Welcome back to some more Marvel Future Fight with Charles. Uh, today, I want to do something special for the beginners. So, uh, as I explained in my other videos, I just started this account. All right, it's called Legendary Hard Hat. Um, I mean, I started this account two weeks ago, and I've been testing a lot of stuff for, you know, beginners account people that are starting the game. You know, as the as the updates come come and go and uh, I've been trying to experiment you know as many things as I can try to see how far you can go in week one week two week three you know how how long does it take to unlock Quicksilver you know how long does it take to get the Thor card you know, what kind of uh, objectives are possible as a beginner and I've discovered a lot of things I think that the ultimates update changed a lot for the beginner's guide I mean, there's a lot of beginner's guide out there. Um, I think this is the most updated one. I think that this includes the ultimates. Uh, this includes like, you know, different things you can do with the line store, uh, other tricks that I've learned along the way. And obviously, there's a lot of testing. So obviously, I'm not running this the most optimal. Obviously, I have my main account that I, I play and spend time on. And then I'm gonna come on to this account and grind, you know, do the grind, do some testing, see how far I can push the envelope, you know, kind of move the, the line in the sand and see, like, how far I can go, you know, as a beginner. But uh, as you can see, I'm level 46 shield. This is day 16 now. I think it's day 16 of this account. Level 46, there's a lot of tricks to get levels, you know, very fast. And also have a decent deck of cards. You can see my cards here. I got the Groot card, Punisher card, Drax card, Loki card, and Starlo card. All these cards are good. I mean, if you're used to seeing like these guides on cards, I mean, these, these cards will most likely be in, the, in that top list, you know? And you can see the grades are pretty good, six, 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 five, and one. The only reason I equipped this one was I had a three-star card with energy attack right here. Um, yeah, I had energy attack. And uh, I decided to change it because I, I had crit damage and cooldown. Uh, let's go see the overall stats, 24 ignore defense. That's, I mean, some veterans have 24%. I mean, I, I've started. And I have 24%. Trip damage, 20%, pretty good. And then the cooldown, probably the most important as a beginner, 30% cooldown on day 16. I mean, that's awesome. Uh, I have a lot of tricks to, you know, grind cards without wasting, you know, resources or wasting, like, your energy um, to make it that you can't grind anymore. I mean... Uh, most of the time, you want to uh, you want to use your energy wisely. You know, it's kind of the blood of the of the game. Where you, if you don't have any energy, well, you really can't do anything, and you can't progress as fast. Uh, this alliance is not really competitive or anything. It's just a random alliance I joined. It's a public alliance right here. As a new player, you kind of want to join uh, highest level alliance for to get these bonuses you, know, you get these stats bonus to all your characters kind of like cards uh, it's quite important to you know join a, a high alliance if you can so I'm not just gonna talk about this obviously with a lot of testing and uh, after a lot of grinding on this account I've came up with a, my own spreadsheet I made a spreadsheet for the first week of progression guide, sort of like beginner's account. And you know, they always say that the first step is the hardest, but it's the only way to get to the second step. And you always hear these veterans laughing at themselves for picking like Ghost Rider, you know, first character, or picking like Iron Man as first character, and picking all these bad choices when they started. For me personally, I don't even remember like what I picked. Like I started the game a year ago on my other account. I don't even know what I picked. I must have picked like some random characters. Uh, 
not even like good, not even like decent in the game. So I'll go to the, well, I'll go to my spreadsheet. Um, just give me a second. We're gonna go to my spreadsheet now, right here. This is my spreadsheet. Um, I made it. Uh, I'll probably put a link down below. Uh, maybe in a couple videos. This is the first video of uh, probably seven. So there's seven days in the first week. And uh, why is, did I do it on seven days? It's because you get these logins, you know, rewards that are very important. You know, these logins rewards uh, will help you in your progression. And you know, this is to show like kind of what you can expect to achieve in week one. And with the ultimates, I mean, you can achieve a lot of things. You, a lot more than before. You can achieve uh, multiple hard villain siege clears. You can achieve world boss clears day two, even day two Shadowland floor one. I mean, you can you can push the envelope if you're willing to spend the time, especially like if you're friends. You know got you into the game and you can add them on your friends list you can join their alliance i mean you're, you're, you can progress like very fast so as you can see here we've got the normal grind and kind of the hard grind so the green normal grind is like you know you don't have you're a casual player you kind of joined you don't really have friends on this game that play the game regularly or, or veterans in the game and you got the hard grind where all the stars are aligned for you like everything is aligned you got the event going on you got the uniform cell going on like all the stars are going to be aligned on this hard grind and you're going to see like if everything aligns well like you time your uh, your progression right you're going to be able to progress like massively fast like extremely fast um, so we're going to go through it uh, one by one uh, so obviously you got in the yellow kind of like the different tabs so I got like day one you know tips and tricks and goals to achieve as a as a beginner um, so first of all you, what you want to do is uh, get all your characters day one is so important like it's probably the most important because you get a lot of selectors you get a lot of uh, you know characters to unlock and you know it's overwhelming I know a lot of people say that you know people are so newbie when they come into the game they don't know what to do you know and the veterans are always like I don't understand like how can they not understand this game you know it seems so simple well there's a lot to do like if you don't know anything about the game you've never seen a YouTube video or you've never seen anything related to Marvel Future Fight I mean that first day man you get you get bombarded with stuff man you got selectors you got hero's journey you got epic quest you got the cinema, cinematic battle. I mean, I mean, what, what if you don't know anything about the game? Obviously, you're going to be a, a little bit overwhelmed, and uh, you know, you're probably going to choose like Ultron as your first um, first character. Although Ultron got a rework, but uh, it's not a bad choice. <laughs> so let's go, let's go, let's go through the list here. Uh, normal grind in green. Uh, so the normal grind will. Uh, go to the hard grind obviously uh, the hard grind is I'm adding stuff to the list the hard grind is like optional mm. things if you're willing to uh, oops what the hell is that dimension rift okay thank you <laughs> sorry for that uh, that's my notification for dimension rifts um, anyways let's go through the list here so characters to get all right so you get a four-star selector from failing a mission, I believe. If you fail a mission, you get a fail mission reward. And I'm going to choose Dr. Octopus. Why Dr. Octopus? I think he's the, one of the most underrated character in the game. He got a rework, you know, a couple months ago. And he's an amazing Shadowland clearer. He can clear Shadowland floors, you know, to maybe even... 20 like if he's really well built I'd say mostly I'd say 1 to 15 like pretty comfortably but if you like really push his build and tier 2 him you can probably go to 20 and he's a villain too so villain if you don't know Shadowland extremely important to get some villains um, I'll show you guys uh, what Shadowland is if you guys don't know let's go back to my game um, 
So Shadowland is kind of uh, this game mode where you got stages to clear and it's kind of like these battles that you have to hash out and you know fight as uh, as much as possible. Uh, I mean yeah and every time you progress it gives you rewards and these rewards help you tremendously to uh, you know progress through the game. Uh, most people say the the main goal would be to clear 15 floors of Shadowland because you get those bios, you get bios at floor 10, floor 5, and floor 15. So, uh, yeah, uh, I believe you can achieve this. If you don't have a second account like me, like, I, I'm kind of double, like, like, I, I, I don't ha I, I'm not spending, like, my 100% focus on this account. But if you're spending your 100% focus, you can achieve a lot in one month. I think one month you can clear 15 floors of Shadowland. It's a reasonable uh, achievement. Um, speaking of that, I am doing a spreadsheet for one month. So this is day 16. So I'm still in the works of making a spreadsheet for one month guide and how to progress to 15 floors of Shadowland and what type of achievements you can get, whether it's Quicksilver, whether it's Epic Quest. You know, you, you can kind of focus what you want to do, but uh, I definitely have my priority in that list. Uh, I definitely have my favorites things to go first. Uh, I'm not gonna s spoil anything, but I, I definitely have a list of things that in to put in order and like what type of things were uh, would be optimal to progress through this game. All right, so let's go back to this uh, day one. Um, Today we're going to be focusing on day one. There's a lot of stuff. So Dr. Octopus, villain, lots of stuff he can do. He can clear, you know, uh, normal villain siege, maybe even hard, uh, but maybe he'll lack the damage, but he's a good filler. You know, in villain siege hard, you can use two, three teams. So he's a good, like, one team. And then after you can use, you know, Sharon Rogers or America Chavez for the final clear. So he's a good, you know, filler for that first first shot at the villain siege hard hard mode all right so we're gonna go through it so four star selector you got dr octopus three star selector you got loki because he's another villain he's very useful uh for beginners even for alliance battle he's useful he's useful for shadowland and you know if you get him to six star by grinding the dimension risk from your friends if you have veteran friends i mean you can get him to six star very early in the game and he's a very useful character easy to play you know, spam three, spam five, and run away. Like, and his uniform, his latest uniform, the Ragnarok, amazing uniform for him. Definitely consider top three uniform, top four uniform. You know, for beginners. Um, on my account, um, as you can, uh, if you guys notice, I have two thousand seven hundred and twenty-six crystals. Um, I'm saving it for uniforms. Uh, these uniforms, there's a lot of powerful uniforms in the game that will clear Shadowland floors like nothing. Like, that's how powerful they are. Loki, uh, you can clear a floor with him, but it's going to be a little bit hard without the uniform. You know, definitely take more tries, and if you put that uniform on him, I mean, you're going to... You can play with the your eyes closed and you'll clear it. Like, it's that strong. Alright, so America Chavez, alright, the latest update. All right, right here. This is our latest update to the progression guide, beginner's guide. I mean, she is amazing for beginners. Not like like I said in my old video, uh, other video, veterans will not think she's great. You no, know, you've got Blue Marvel, you've got Anti Man, you got Nova. They're all getting the hype. You know, they're like super power. You know, power creep and all. They're all like power creeps in their own rights. But America Chavez is the power creep for beginners. You can get her in the hero's journey right here. So hero's journey, if you don't know, you can... It's like these tasks to rank up one specific character. And eventually you'll get that character to 6 star if you accomplish these tasks. And she is an amazing character for beginners. Easy to play, you know. Doesn't need a lot of mechanics to go through a rotation multiple rotation possibilities i mean if you just button smash you'll probably like clear stuff with her 
and uh, yeah, super easy to play. I think she's kind of fun. Uh, personally, I think she's fun to play, and uh, definitely on this new account, I've been having a lot of fun testing her out. All right, next one, six star selector, Shen Rogers. Obviously, Shen Rogers is the baby of Netmarble. She's not in the comics, you know. She's not a character in the comics, so Netmarble kind of put her in there as a a filler as their own and uh, yeah she's an amazing character even at, without her uniform if you get her uniform I mean that's your choice she it's a great uniform but I don't think she needs it she doesn't need the uniform to be great she'll accomplish all the beginner stuff for you I think when you get to intermediate level and veteran level you can think about getting her uniform uh, but as a beginner there's more important uniforms to get for early Shadowland clears. Like she'll clear a Shadowland floor for you without her uniform. So I don't think it's a priority number one. Spider-Man, obviously the one star selector is like story missions and it's kind of a lackluster selector. You know, these selectors are pretty good. Uh, this one is kind of lackluster, but I would definitely go with Spider-Man. He's a great choice. Uh, you know, once you get his uniform, if you get a uniform cell, his uniform is amazing, his latest one. And um, he'll clear a Shadowland floor like easy, like super easy. Alright, this is new too from the Ragnarok update, you know, from Thor Ragnarok movie. Cinematic battle, you can get a free six star Thor just from getting into cinematic battle, cinematic battle. You just go in there and you get a free six star Thor. Um, definitely do that. I mean, it's a free character, free six star character. And, uh, you know, you, why not have him? He's not that good. All right? This is one of my priority number one. Like, he's not that good without his uniform. So, uh, priority number one, get that Thor uniform, man. If you got a uni, uh, uni sale going on and you got the diamonds or the crystals, just go ahead and buy that because it's an amazing uniform for him. It makes him viable for a lot of game modes. It's like one of those uniforms that make him zero to hero. Like it's a great uniform. Like I have a six star so I don't use it. He's basically useless. Alright, bio sub choices. There's a little trick here. Normally you only get three days of uh, bio sub, but you can actually pick four if you time your bio sub selection which means before you click on the character you choose you time it around the daily reset all right so daily reset depends on your time zone and it's a lot different for a lot of people for me in asia it's at 11 p.m you know at night that's the reset the old hot time our rip hot time so yeah um I kind of put this in order of strength and um, you know I definitely think this is the kind of the list to go for I mean you can pick any four of them that you want uh, there's nothing wrong with that but uh, Spider-Man 299 great for PvP great for PvE I mean, he's, he's a monster Enchantress another monster doesn't need her tier 2 uh, just massive charm and you know her DPS is not you know that's not a burst DPS but she's got the DPS to clear most you know game modes pretty easy to Quasar another one from the ultimates update the latest update we've got in the Marvel Future Fight uh, she's an amazing character I mean her damage is not the best uh, maybe like in Enchantress level damage uh, from what I saw, maybe a little bit more. I don't know. It's about the same level of damage, maybe less. But she's great. I mean, she's a great character at yeah, tier one. Uh, her tier two does make her like a lot better for PvP, but as a beginner, not focusing on PvP. All right, next one you got Ironheart. I mean, that's kind of like the better version of Iron Man in this game. Like Iron Man got a rework, but still a wonky character like he's still not the best character Ironheart is kind of the better version she can clear better floors of Shadowland easier to play and she's got a little bit more DPS Kid Kaiju another one speed characters are the 
weakest class, like by far the weakest class. You know, we've got different classes. You got Universal, Combat, Blast, Speed, and Speed is uh, Speed is weak. I mean, it's quite the weakest. And then Valkyrie, Valkyrie, because she's a great character for ABX, and even that Tier One, she clears world bosses and Shadowland. So she's a good character at tier one, but her tier two passive is definitely ABX focus. Lance Battle is where you try and score a lot of points, you know, in a set amount of time with you know your best characters, the best metas, and uh, it's definitely one of the best uh, thing. Uh, uh, her tier two passive is definitely one of the best. All right, trick, trick, tricks and uh, tips right here. Don't use your Norn Stones on Doctor Strange quests. All right, very important. Don't use your Norn Stones. Don't use your daily missions entries. Don't use your special mission entries. Keep that for your hero's journey because you, in day one, you can get a six star America Chavez. And that is very powerful. It's kind of kind of like the power creep of uh, this whole update for beginners. So you definitely want to save your Norn Stones, save your daily missions, you know, save your special missions for your hero's journey and get that six star America Chavez. Alright, as you're doing story modes, when you see you're close to shield level, alright, so when you're close to uh, shield level, guys, so shield level is uh, right here, if I can get to it, is the percentage. I'm at 95%, alright, so when you're close, there's different ways of using your energy because every time you get that 100 you reset your energy and you don't want to be at 94 if I'm at 95 cap but you don't want to be at 94 and then pop this reset and you know basically make it useless you want to make use of your energy as a new player so there's definitely tricks to uh, to do to use your energy and then pop that energy reset so here's our, here are some tricks Use energy in invasion, all right? So co-op invasion. If you guys don't know, um, co-op invasion is a game mode where you play with other players. It's not my favorite game mode because I'm I have bad connection. And being in Asia, you always lag out. All right, so it's kind of like a a boss raid with two other players. If you if you want, you get these chests with. Decent prizes, you can get bios, you can get gold, you can get Norn Stones, you can get like debris, gear up kits, which are very useful. Alright, so here you pick your char your characters and you can see they go up to 6 star tier 2. So instantly they, they bump up their stats. No no bonus stats, but the native stats or the, the set stats are, are modified. So you, you don't need to rank up your characters, you can play as many as you want as many characters as you unlock um, so yeah so definitely pop your energy and invasion why is invasion good because it doesn't give you shield xp if you do dimension rifts it does give you shield xp all right so if you do one mission here you might pop your energy you might pop your shield level and then your energy will be wasted so you don't want to do that the only time you want to do a dimension rift is let's say you, you've got like me and we'll do it live here. So we're going to do it live, we're just going to pop my energy. So I got 50 energy and I'm at 95%. And I'm going to pop my energy here. <laughs> it's gonna use my energy and I'm gonna pop and I'm gonna get my 96 so amazing trick right here to uh, to do for beginners if you if you don't have a rift do invasion co-op invasion as I showed before that's the best option all right um, let's go back to my Day one. Alright, go to friends list, add whoever you can get. Alright, so your friends list is right here. 
Um, so I can say I got 50 friends. Uh, some of them are veterans. Like I said, if you got friends that invited you to the game, got you into this game, and add them, they'll help you with their nice uh, heroic lifts or legendary lifts if you can get some. And you just add here. You just click whoever you can add uh, on this list. And you know they'll they'll open dimension risks for you. There's some good characters you can farm in this. And I definitely recommend to get the dimension rifts, especially for your cards. You can only get cards in the dimension rifts, and yeah, upgrade your cards. They take a lot of inventory space. You don't want to don't want to fill up your inventory. As beginners, um, for the daily missions. I definitely recommend the Nornstone one. Uh, day one, if you finish a hero's journey, you can probably finish number three. All right, but uh, even number four, I think you can finish number four. Uh, day one, if you try hard, you know, and don't try to lose because if you die, you'll lose your entry, your daily entry, only two per day. But definitely get your Nornstones because you're going to be building a lot of characters in week one, and you need your, those Nornstones for those ISO sets. So, uh, oh, I'm unlock this character. Another trick, do not rank up every character. All right, do not rank up. If you've got characters, you know, 51 out of 40, you know, you got uh, 43 out of 40, do not use your gold and resources on ranking up useless characters, okay? Altron is not a useless character, so I'm gonna rank him up. But it's definitely useless characters in the game that you don't wanna rank up and use your resources as a beginner. Resources are hard to get as a beginner, especially with the VIP zero. So you want to keep your gold. You know, this mockingbird, I'm not going to rank up unless I, I get a, a, a massive amount of gold. So you definitely don't want to rank up anybody. You know, stick to a, a specific list. All right, I'm going to give you the list right now. Uh, all my favorites are gone. I have to fix that. But list would be, you know, obviously all these characters from the progression guide: Doctor Octopus, Loki, Spider-Man, Iron Man. You know, Captain America, uh, Chan Rogers, and Chavez. Uh, we're going to talk about Reyes later because you're going to get him with the seven day login rewards, but not, not now. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of what is going to happen. So those, those are kind of like the, the list. Sandman from the special missions. Right, so Sandman you can only get from special missions and you got 20 entries. 20 entries is a massive amount of energy for, for beginners when you don't have the cap at 120 or 140. It's, it's a lot of energy to do 20 entries. And try to do it when you're close to a shield level. That's my best tip. I mean, it's just a lot of energy you're going to be doing, but it's great for leveling. It's uh, the best game mode for leveling a character. <laughs> right, let's go back to here. Alright, so the last, uh, so obviously you want to send your points because getting in the hero's journey, you need to send friend, you know, friend points. Or, uh, forget the name of your points, but you want to send the points. And, uh, obviously, do Nornstone's daily mission, as I said. So the goals for Epic Quest get to research Nornstone's for Doctor Strange. So do not use your Nornstone's because you want to use your Nornstone's for Hero's Journey, America Chavez. And uh, do not use your known stones to, for Doctor Strange. You're going to have a choice which one to do. All right, do the hero's journey. That's the best uh, possible option for beginners. I get as far as possible as on the Wolverine quest. All right, I don't know how far. I mean, I, I'm, I was on the hard grind, so I, I made this list. So I, I'm not sure how far I can get to, but try to go as far as possible. I'm sure you're going to get into a... Research of, uh, <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna get like a research of Mornstones or something and you're gonna get stuck, so something like that. Alright, finish your Rose journey, farm 8 bios and get 6 star Captain America, Iron Man and Black Widow. So this, this is the new update, you know, with the new update, characters are easier to rank up, you know, story missions from 1 to 6, uh, 1 to 8, sorry. Uh, they take less bios to get to six stars. So if you just do finish one to eight missions or one to ten, 
Oh, yeah, you're gonna get like really close to six star Captain America. You're gonna get like eight bios left to get six star. Eight bios left to get six star Iron Man, Captain America, and Black Widow. So just simple farming. If you want, you can finish story mode. I did chapter eight, just you know, minimal grind. That's all. Alright, hard grind. Join a level 30 alliance. Very yeah. useful. Yeah. Joining a level 30 alliance. You get the store. You get all those bonuses from the alliance. Right, you can donate your gold. Right? You get a lot of gold from the achievements, early achievements from Hero Journey, you know, Epic Quest. Story missions. You get a lot of stuff, so you know, I think I was at 8 million gold. So you can probably afford to donate gold and buy the booster and XP booster from the Alliance store if you're in a good alliance. I would buy the shield booster, only buy the XP booster if you're at level close to level 40, close to level 50. No, yeah, I'd say closer to level 50. Like anything higher than level 50 to 60 is a pretty long grind, so I would get the XP booster, but for the most part, I get the shield booster because, like at level 30, after level 30, the levels are not as frequent, and, you know, you're not wasting energy as much. So after level 30, shield, get the XP booster and help you get that reset of energy to continue grinding. Right, add veteran friends, all right? Veteran friends will have good rifts. They have good friends that are not going to leech the rift. So if you get into their rift. You're gonna get those rewards, alright? So dimension rewards, <laughs> if we go back to the game, right here. Alright, Dimension Rift rewards, we've got all right, 300,000 gold, 200 debris, and 100 energy. Very good rewards for beginner's guide, or beginner's account. All right, these rewards are amazing, the debris, always lacking. I mean, Gear up kits, debris are the essentials to ranking up, gearing up your characters. So definitely give that a try. And, uh, as you can see, I complete all, completed all three. Yeah. Try to do that. If you're on the hard grind, just do that every day. Get three rewards, it'll help your progress like, a lot. Alright, let's go back to my, um, my beginner's guy here. Um, all right, so Rift Rewards obviously equip full deck of cards because you're using energy on the Rifts to get the rewards. So in it, at the same time, you're getting a nice collection of cards. All right, start building Chavez with ISO set, here's an obelisk, all right? So for beginners, that's a loaded text, all right? That's a loaded sentence. A lot of beginners are like, uh, what is ISO set? What is a gear? You know, what is a good obelisk for this character? What is a good obelisk for that character? Um, right, now I'm, about, I'm going to show you a little bit of what it is. I'm going to do other tips on gear up kids. And, um, especially obelisk I think even intermediate players are, aren't even sure what optimal obelisk are. Uh, custom gear is where you got the obelisk all right this is not optimal these two are not I just put this for the damage proc the yellow text is the most important for the obelisk like by far this orange and is like yes it's important but the reason people pay and, and roll a lot of obelisks is the yellow text. We're not paying to get these these stats, all right? We're paying to get the yellow text and get these damage procs, all right? So as you can see, I've got damage procs on almost all my characters right now. Day 16. I got lucky and, you know, I've been farming a lot, so, yeah. It's kind of like where I'm at right now. Um, good yellow text invincibility two seconds is not good but you know it can go up to five seconds critical damage ignore defense critical rate ignore dodge you know all these all these stats on the top are good iso sets all right do not roll i i i got lucky i never roll more than three times all right i never want to roll more than three times per character all right it's it's a waste of gold. People have memes about spending millions, millions of gold on this game. 
just rolling for overdrive uh, don't do that as a beginner you know gold is a hard thing to come by a VIP zero because co-op doesn't give you gold if you're not a VIP one or VIP two so, uh, definitely want to grind this out you know you want to hope you get lucky next here's oh, thank you for sure next important thing the gears a little trick here 2000 to change the gear if you level up this gear to level 15 the price will go up the price will go up for your rolling so definitely roll it when it's at five and try to get skill cooldown skill cooldown is like top priority as a beginner's account that's why you join a level 30 alliance to get that nice skill cooldown bonus that's why you get the cars to get that skill cooldown so definitely want to do that max upgrade here working on my spider-man goes up to 15 and then don't do this one all right, until you get skill cooldown don't do the last one but I got skill cooldown so you have to pop this and there you go all right, and you can see the, the price 6,000 so little trick right there little pro, pro tip so that's definitely nice all right so some ISO sets uh, that you want to get all right, as a beginner I'd say any any ISO set with cooldown with some decent stats I mean you're a beginner you're, don't roll for Hawksai or Overdrive you're gonna waste your gold you get zero gold every day yeah, not recommended just trying to get a 6 star anything with cooldown anything with all attack is great alright Tenacious and BA is not bad for beginners I mean, we're talking beginners alright don't want to waste your resources you want to waste your resources on gears uh, ISO sets the rolling a little bit but mostly gear uh, obelisk and that's why yeah, I got damage pumps on everyone I did not waste gold on my ISO rolling I did not waste gold on my skills I wasted gold on this because I want the good obelisk so um, here skills most skills do fine at level 1 uh, some skill like these skills that have no buffs like repulse strike it's fine at level one this one too fine at level one this one gives you the uh a lot of you know the <coughs> excuse me the uh 100 chance immunity that's nice you know you get a lot of bonus stats energy damage adi additional energy damage uh, you get increased attack by 15 percent so i leveled it up to six but Level three is fine. If you if you got working on multiple characters, level three is fine. Right, this is extra damage. Right? The stun doesn't increase. It's just damage for four and five. So Sharon Rogers, level three skill. You know, everything else is fine at one. Uh, if you get excessive gold on other days when you're not farming or you're not working on six star characters, yeah, bump this up. But not recommended at the start. Right, Robbie Reyes, another guy that uh, you know, drastic density, got lucky, this is uh, definitely the best, one of the best for uh, defensive ISO sets, uh, and this obelisk is just, yeah, it's perfect, and you got all defense, fire damage, because Robbie Reyes does fire damage, and I got a pro, so. And uh, yeah, level one is fine. He doesn't really have a buff. The only one I would consider is uh, this one, Tire Scorcher. Uh, although it doesn't level, I think it levels up. Uh, it doesn't seem to level up. Uh, normally the guard hits go up. Every time you see a guard hit skill, level up that to maximum. Uh, so I think besides number four, there's not anything that you need to level up for Robbie Reyes. Here's an uh, example of a guy that you need to max out his six skill. He gets 
eight hits. All right, so you start at like two hits, and it goes up to eight guard hits. So guard hits is like immunity. So each hit. So for eight hits, when you pop skill number five, you're immune to damage. Um, everything else you don't really need. There's a three. There's a buff here. There's, okay, but uh, everything else you don't really need. Uh, maybe the two stun, but. The stun doesn't increase, it's just damage. Uh, Dr. Octopus, a little bit lacking on the damage, but his survivability is uh, top notch. Top notch survivability. Definitely go for maxing out his uh, si fifth skill. And uh, everything else can leave at one. Tenacious Symbiote. Right, I'll attack, cool down. It's the main, main things. You need to stare max HP, 120 proc. And, yeah. Yellow text, you want invincibility, energy shield, physical shield is so so. I say B tier yellow text, but definitely go for invincibility and damage procs. That's the best. Alright, so we talked about the ISO set gears and everything. That's kind of how you build your characters. A very short, you know, tutorial. I'll definitely make a longer videos on tricks to do that but that's a that's a loaded sentence for beginners man that's that's no jokes i mean even intermediate players are always asking what obelisk for this character what obelisk for that you know what iso set you know? i mean this is a this is a loaded sentence all right unlock lab all right very important to get gears and you know like, you saw how many gears I, I i had 400 gears i'm going to zero you know just upgrading skill uh, gears to uh, 15 so very important we're going to go back to the gameplay here um, so we're gonna go back in the lab here we got a little little section here to collect so try to rank up this at first antimatter generator and this is important because you can buy debris. Mm. Right, you can buy gear up kits, you can buy level up chips, you can buy ISO if you're missing some. Green ISO, so I'm going to buy this one. Don't buy this, keep your crystals for uniform cell. Alright, that's definitely something that you want to do. And, uh, yeah, so that's great tool, great tool. Let's go to the alliance shop, alliance store if you got a nice alliance. You can buy energy for more farming, you can buy clear tickets for more farming, you can buy these boosters. So, XP booster, level 50 to level 60. Buy the XP booster. Those levels are long to grind. Shield booster, after level 30 shield, get the shield booster. Right, after level 30, just get that. I mean, if you're on the hard grind, like I am, why not? Why not just uh, optimize your grind and get stuff faster? Alright, the last part. I know this is a long video, I got people talking in the background. Uh, sorry for that. I'm at the office right now. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to pop a video for you guys. Uh, I'll be doing the day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, you know, all the days later. So farm all characters for story mode to unlock. Alright, if you're spending your whole day like I am on the game, you're just kidding. I mean, whatever. <laughs> if you're just spending a lot of time on the game, you know. When you're on that honeymoon season for the game, you're starting, you're pumped up, you're hyped, you want to get the game going, I mean, yeah, do this. Farm all characters from story mode, play invasion a lot, helps you for invasion. Level up characters to 40, alright, so when you're doing like these low level missions, use the uh, level 1 characters, you know, the ones that you just unlocked. You know, pop your strong character in the middle, pop your weak characters on the sides, slots, and level up your level 1s. Why not? You're doing weak uh, story mode missions anyways, they're not gonna give you XP for high level characters. If event is going, buy the Nornstones and get to Mortar World. I, I did that. I was on the Ultimates update when I did my new account. I bought from the event shop the Nornstones. It was 10 event tokens for the Nornstones. And you get like 40 per day. So you can pop 
your event tokens, and you can progress in the epic quest. Right. Do villain siege easy and hard, uh, easy normal. Uh, I don't think you can do hard, not, not by this day. And try baby roll boss, right? I call this the American team, America Chavez, Captain America, and Sharon Rogers, American team. You can try baby roll boss, it's called the beginner's world boss, and uh, I call it baby world boss, but it's the same thing. And uh, you can probably get it clear on day one, if you rank up and gear up your characters, all right? If you gear up, even no obelisk chavez might get you a clear in baby world boss you know so it's in challenges world boss okay so you got world boss beginner right here super giant i think day one you can clear proxima yeah i think the only choice you got day one is proxima maybe corvus i don't think if you got an angle dodge obelisk by any chance try to do corvus I think that world boss easy mode is uh, Proxima, easiest, Corvus Glaive, Ebony Maw, Super Giant, Black Dwarf. Uh, in that order, that's the difficulty level. I think Super Giant is harder than Ebony and Corvus. Super Giant can one shot you at any time. It's annoying, I should have the fear. It's annoying. Right. And then Black Dwarf is definitely a monster. It's like Bowser. He's a monster. He's definitely a monster. Alright. Uh, I want to show you the epic quest, guys. That's the last thing in this video. Um, I'll be doing the videos for my day two pretty soon. Sorry for the background noise. Uh, I'm going to fix stuff. Uh, I'm going to get a better time to do videos but I just wanted to get this out for you guys all right research all right you gotta rank up characters for this mission you gotta do daily missions special missions you know you gotta rank up Baron Mordo to four star so uh, it's a grind. This is a slow grind. This is not a beginner's achievement. This is more intermediate level achievement. But you definitely want to work on it as soon as possible and start grinding it out. You know, it's a daily grind that slowly process but eventually gets to be done when you're intermediate or veteran level. So, uh, yeah. Definitely try and get the epic quest as far as possible. Um, I personally think with the new world bosses you can get Quicksilver faster than the epic quest. 100%. I'm thinking I'm going to unlock with this account, with all the testing and everything. I'm going to unlock Quicksilver real soon. Real soon. Look at all these complete. 16 days account and i i did a lot of testing i tested out you know these world bosses i didn't do five at a time you know it can maybe the first week you can get like five proxima clears second week you can get like you know, five corvus and five ebony you know you start cleaning two three world bosses a day so it goes fast on week two but week one i say five proxima is a possible achievement and uh, yeah, so I'm on week two and I got three, three, three uh, world bosses to do, so, you know, forget the epic quest, man. I'm, I'm almost considering, or I'm not going to say it, I'm almost considering saying, screw the epic quest. Don't rank up Mordo, don't rank up Rogue. Focus on gearing up your characters for these world boss clears and unlock Quicksilver ASAP. You will not regret it. Quicksilver is the one of the best characters in the game. He came out with all these new world boss updates. I claim this. Um, he's an amazing character. The best PvP character out of all of these, definitely, no brainer. Uh, PvE is different story, Cable is number one, but uh, Apocalypse can hold his weight. Scarlet is in a weird position, she's not top blast character, she's in the blast, char uh, blast character group, which is very competitive. Uh, it's hard. I mean, she's decent in Alliance Conquest. 
decent in PvP, decent in Alliance Battle. Like, she's not top notch at anything, and that kind of puts her in a weird spot. Cable, top notch, ABX, Apocalypse, top notch, ABX for his day. Yeah. Awesome, awesome characters. But uh, yeah, I'm almost considering saying screw the epic quest. Don't waste your resources researching, you know, leveling up Baron Mordo and Rogue. Like, just go for this guy, man. This guy is awesome. You will not regret it. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that cliffhanger. Comment down below if you think you should leave the epic quest and go for Quicksilver. I mean, I, I'm. I'm almost sold. I'm almost sold. Like, there's no way you're finishing the epic quest. There's no way. Like, even if you progress a little bit better in the epic quest in the first month than the other guy, the other guy's gonna get Quicksilver. So, you know what? I'm gonna go with Quicksilver for, you know, two, three, four missions here that you can just look at. You know, it doesn't do anything for the character that much. Besides Wolverine, Four Stark, and Clear Shadowland, but Doctor Strange. I mean, what? Whatever, man. Like, a four star Doctor Strange. I don't think he'll do Shadowland for you. No, I'd definitely go for Quicksilver. So I'm going to leave you guys on that cliffhanger. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment be down below what you think about the Epic Quest. I'm sold, man. I'm almost sold. Like, there's no way that getting to this Cashilius crap ranking up is into the first month is gonna be better than getting quicksilver like no way all right and uh, and then this one like you're gonna you're gonna hit the wall eventually like i don't know which one storm you're gonna hit the wall where it's gonna be slow extremely slow to progress in the epic quest like there's no point there's no point of like wasting your resources as a beginner and doing the epic quest all right so uh, I'm, I'm about to do a video on this world boss, maybe. But uh, yeah, that's that's what I got for you guys for today. Day one of the uh, new beginner's guide updated with all the tricks. Here's another look at it, guys. Yeah, you can pause the video, read it, replay the video, whatever. We're gonna do day two tomorrow. I don't know, maybe get tomorrow after tomorrow. But that's it, man. That's uh, that's what I've got for you guys. I made a spreadsheet. Uh, I might put it online next week. You know, on, in my description down below, in my videos. But then if you check me out, we're gonna go through this day by day, step by step, trick by trick, man. We're gonna progress, All right? We make them the haters, all the veteran haters, and calling us noobs, the beginners noobs. I and mean, it won't exist anymore. All right? All right. That's all I got. Thank you, guys. Bye.